Leo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. There will be an extended at the end of the reading, which is available on Vimeo or Patreon. It's pretty dope because we take a deeper dive into your partner's psyche. Um, also, I am doing personal readings right now, and um, you can book on my website, aaftarot.com. There's a couple of different options for you. Also, the link to where you can purchase the Neon Awakening, the card deck, will be in the description below. But essentially, you guys can find it on Etsy by typing in uh, Neon Awakening, and it should pop right up. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. How does Leo view their current romantic situation with their person, whoever they're thinking about right now? How do they view their current, okay? Wow, 10 of swords. Okay, Leo, I don't know what's going on, but let's clarify it. Let's not get too, too in the too deep in the feels just yet. Sometimes this is an ending, which is bringing a new possibility. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there. Um, how does Leo view their person's role? Um, okay, the hermit. Some of you may be dealing with a uh, Gemini or a Virgo. Um, and how does their person of interest, how do they feel about Leo romantically right now? How do they feel about Leo romantically right now? The chariot, well, there's a positive. Okay, here we go. Now we're on a positive swing. Um, what is the obstacle between Leo and their person right now? What does Leo view as the obstacle between them? Okay, the king of swords. So Aquarius energy. Um, but I also feel like your person's problem is like they have a certain way that they want to do things. And it's like the way that they do things is different than how you do things. It, it, it It's an unorthodox manner and I feel like the way that this person communicates they don't communicate correctly or it's like they're they're too logical with things where for you I think that you want the passion you want you know the drama the emotions and I feel like for some reason with this person they do a lot of thinking and I feel like they punish you by going quiet um and, and what is an unforeseen event in the near future for Leo and this person romantically okay Two of Wands, I actually like that energy. It's somebody is planning or there is a decision that's being made. So that to me is positive energy. All right, let's pop over here to your Ten of Swords. Now this is Gemini energy. And I feel like this relationship has really kind of taken a toll on you, right? I, I, I think that you've been through a lot. There, There's something here where something definitely is ending and I feel like it's been painful. I feel like you've been suffering internally for a period of time where now it's like you're no longer stuck in your head by something you felt. I don't know why, but I feel like something happened here, Leo, where you were taking on a lot of the burden, okay? Ten of Wands, you were absorbing a lot of the burden when it came to you and the person. I feel like that's something that Leo does and I feel bad because I feel like whatever Leo gives, it's hard to reciprocate that energy on anyone's side, right? Because you guys, how, how you guys show love is that you guys do acts of kindness, right? It's different than a cancer. I don't know how to explain it, but your acts of kindness are different than a cancer where like you'll go above and beyond and keep going, right? And I feel like you've really had to sacrifice a lot for this situation, a lot for the relationship. You may have recently felt like things were just too much and you needed to walk away or even move. Like, I don't know why, but I do feel like there is some type of ending here. Sagittarius and also you have Pisces energy. Um, I am going to say this. With this energy coming in right now as your current situation, I just want to say this. This is currently what's going on, but there's something better coming in the future. So I, I just want to throw that out there, right? I think that you're tired. I think you're tired of always being the one to sacrifice, always carrying the burdens. And I feel like it's not enough, right? I mean, it's, it's heavy Saturn energy. So there's a level of restriction when it comes to, to expansion, right? I, I feel like you wanted this person to commit. I feel like you wanted them to meet you, not even halfway, right? You're like, just meet me three quarter, like, you know, a quarter of the way and I'll do the rest. And I feel like that person couldn't even do that. I feel like there's a lack of emotional stability here. 
I feel like you felt the need that you needed to let go of the situation because it just was no longer fueling you. Like for some reason, I feel like you guys were home and like really going through the motions. Like I feel like there was a lot of um, emotional moments where you were crying because it's like you wanted this person to do the right thing. And for some of you guys, I feel like there was a level of abandonment from this person where it was so easy for them to cut things off and walk away. And now you're stuck here like, well, what happened? I definitely feel like there's a lack of communication. I feel like um, your person did not put forth any effort into making things right with you. And I feel like this, this, this anxiety, but I feel like you felt it for a period of time. I think it's finally come to a head and it's kind of toppled over here and it's forcing a level of rebirth and it's forcing a level of change, regardless if you were ready or if you weren't, right? Because the plateau of you guys staying here in this nine of swords, the universe, God, whoever you guys believe in, they're like, no, Leo does not deserve to stay in this, this nine of swords energy, which is why it's reversed, right? Something big had to happen in order to end the situation or in order to end the cycle, right? When it comes to your person, they're coming in with their role as hermit energy. I feel like your person walked away or there's something here where they wanted to be alone. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a very unique way of processing information, right? It's almost like... Um, I don't want to say like borderline autistic, but it's like the way that this person handles things, it doesn't make sense. Like you're over there like, wait a minute, dog, like one plus one is two. It's not one plus one is red. You know what I mean? And for this person, I just feel like they needed a lot of alone time. You know, this is Virgo energy, Cancer energy, Aquarius, um, Aries. This person needed a lot of alone time. And I feel like this person um, wasn't being honest with what they were doing, right? I think that you were watching this person very carefully. I feel like at times this person would say something and do something else. I definitely feel like their role was to cause a level of confusion and they caused the confusion because of the tower, you know, um, Scorpio Venus here. Like there was a lot of confusion and illusion inside the relationship but i feel like your person played games like i feel like this person is a walking tower moment i really do and 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 i feel like wherever they go they do lead leave like a path of destruction with whoever you're dealing with and i think part of the problem is that page of swords right i think that they pop off i think that they say things i think that they lie i think that they'll purposely not speak to you like your person purposely doesn't communicate with you because it's like they want you to be confused. Why the tower though? Why is the tower here? Knight of Wands and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. See what this person would do is they would purposely cause these issues in your relationship. They would purposely cause these tower moments so that they could do what they wanted to do. You're dealing with somebody that I feel like is very immature. And, and, and like I said, the way that they process things doesn't necessarily make sense. But instead of this person saying, hey, this isn't working out and here's why, instead of doing that, instead of saying, hey, I have multiple op options here, there, I have, I have options and I don't know what I want, instead of openly admitting that, what do they do is they keep a level of control, right? And with that control, they'll restrict their access to them they'll go quiet they'll lie to you or they'll be petty or they'll say things and they'll create this confusion where it's almost like it's your fault that this has happened when in reality it has nothing to do with you this this right here leo says more about this person than it does you right this says more about who this person is at a core level than it does you now how they feel about you is the chariot. I, I, I think with you, they feel like you're gonna be fine either way. And here's the one thing that I do think that they're right about. I think either way, Leo, you are you will be fine. 100% hands down. I definitely get that feeling. Let me move this down a little bit so everybody can see. 
I definitely get that energy, right? And they view you as somebody who's overcome a lot. They view you as very attractive. They view you as a sense of security, um, as somebody that they can go to, right? Um, but they also view you as somebody that is on the go, right? Somebody that draws in a lot of attention. And I feel like for your person, I don't think that they like that. How does this person feel romantically about Leo? Sagittarius energy, the fool, and the page of wands. The problem with this person is, Leo, I think that they don't really truly understand your worth. I think that they view you as, as something where it is a sense of a non-committal type of energy, if you want me to be honest. They feel like there is some type of destiny here with you that they need to explore. Like, they know that when things are good with you and them, they're good. But at the same point in time, they also feel like there is a very non-committal energy. With the Knight of Wands, the Fool, and the Page of Wands, it, it, it's, it's like they don't necessarily know what they want, Right? Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. It's 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 almost like I feel like this person will talk to you when they're bored, but then when when they have other things going on, it, it's it's a very in and out type of energy, right? It, it it's impulsive. They're very attracted to you. They feel like you're very talented. They feel like you have a lot going on. You're stable, but at the same point in time. They feel like your relationship with them, it's it, its an open type of situation or it's an open relationship. Now, the obstacle is the king of swords. That's Aquarius energy. And the thing about Aquarius energy is that Aquariuses are very unique, right? They have a certain way of going about things. I just think that it's hard when it comes to this person because what this person says and what they do are two separate things. This person is somebody that will say, you can't do this, but at the same point in time, they do it, right? It's like, say as I do, not as I, say as I do, not as I do. I don't know, whatever the hell that saying is. Um, if you guys have made it this far, can you make sure that you like the video and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Why is this an obstacle for Leo and this person? Five of Cups. There's a sense of betrayal. Whoever you're dealing with is very cold right now. I feel like I, I feel like they talked a good game. I feel like they told you everything that you wanted to hear. I feel like they said that they wanted a family. I feel like they may have even told you that they wanted a family with you. You know, they wanted this long lasting situation where it was this fairy tale ending. And I feel like at the end of the day, with this Five of Cups, there is a sense of um, depression and a sense of sadness here because they never took any action on obtaining it, right? For some of you guys, you may have even been dealing with somebody who was already in a relationship right? Taurus energy. You may have been dealing with somebody who, for those of you guys, because there's two kings here, right? So like, let's call a spade a spade. You may be dealing with somebody who also dates men, right? If you're, if you're with a man, you may be dealing with somebody who also likes men as well. And I feel like you and this person have a different perspective on what love is on sacrifice, on letting things go. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very, very stubborn, who has a certain way that they want to go about things. And it's unorthodox, but at the same point in time, they don't budge from their from their perspective. It's like somebody that, that has this weird idea of the way that things go, and it's so out of left field. And anytime you try to say, well, hey, here's some facts that may adjust their perception, they don't adjust. They, they keep down the same road that they're going down for whatever the reasoning is. And I don't know why they do that, but I feel like it's, it, it's, it's ego, it's pride, it's this person likes to not involve the emotions, but at the same point in time, they, they, they throw up certain illusions with who they are. They like to pretend that they're the king of pentacles, but in reality, they're the king of swords. They're mean as hell. 
And if it benefits them at the moment, they will throw you under the bus. And I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. It also could have been too family drama that kind of came in between the two of you, whether they had kids and like another person. I don't feel like things worked out the way that they initially said it was, right? I think that there was a lot of conflict and fluctuation with what they said they wanted versus what they do. And now I feel like you're over here with an unforeseen event where you have a decision and you have a choice that you have to make with what direction you're gonna go. And I feel like, Leo, you're actively weighing your pros and cons right now with, you know, what are the benefits and what are not the benefits? Because right now I feel like with the Tower, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Hermit, something is completely flattened. What, what do you want me to tell them about what's coming in for them romantically? Unforeseen event. I feel like somebody may be coming in for you guys very quickly here. Like, like they come in, they, they, they come in very, very fast. This may be somebody at a distance that's been watching you for a period of time. But I also feel like too, you're keeping your distance from this person because I think that you need time to heal. And I think that you're very guarded. Like I, I get that your energy is very guarded right now because of all the setbacks. And, and right now you're very focused on your money. You're very focused on working on things for you on on starting some type of new project or new adventure or or new venture when it comes to work but i get like right now like you're very determined to succeed you're determined to show this person you know that they don't have you stuck in a corner you're very determined for this new type of energy coming in and i'm gonna be honest i do feel like there's something here that's changing. There's something new that's coming in. Now, let's see on your person side. Let's see what's going on with them. Because I'm curious to see how they view the situation. Because I feel like this person is like Willy Wonka, right? It's like they know what they know, but outside of their little tiny world, it's like they're they're oblivious to reality. Um, cross watchers flip it. How does this person feel, Leo's person of interest? How do they feel about their current romantic situation with Leo? Or, or their perception of their current romantic situation? Okay, Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's not working. Um, and what do they view their role is in, in, in the situation with Leo? Wow. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. And we'll put that one on top. So that is their role um, to make this straight. And um, what does this person feel like is an obstacle on their end when it comes to Leo? The five of wands. I think you challenge them, Leo. I think you challenge them to be better. Like, I think that you challenge them. And I think that they have a lot of internal struggles. You may be dealing with somebody that's bipolar. Like, I'm going to be honest, or has some type of chemical imbalance. I'm saying that because you have the moon and the nine of cups, sorry about that. Whether this chemical imbalance is self-induced with drugs or alcohol, right? There's something here where this person is not balanced emotionally or chemically inside of their body. Um, or this can be the fact that they have a lot of a lot of different people and I feel like they don't like to be restricted by you. What about, uh, what are they hiding from Leo? What has this person been hiding from Leo? Okay, the hermit, possibly a Virgo or something that they've been thinking about for a period of time that you don't know about. What are they thinking about uh, strongly that Leo doesn't know? W what have they been thinking about over and over and over again, fixating on? The queen of cups, okay? I don't know for some of you guys if you're pregnant, but that's cancer energy. And what are their next actions towards Leo romantically? What are their next actions towards Leo romantically? Okay, the six of wands, there is your energy and that is Jupiter in Leo, so that's expansion. And what is um, their intention behind this action? What is their intention behind this action with Leo? The lovers and the ace of cups, beautiful. I think that this person isn't gonna let you go, Leo, if you want me to be honest. Like, I definitely don't think it is, but I feel like you're going to have a decision. That's why, like, 
what, what we saw earlier in your unforeseen event, you're going to have a decision that you have to make here where you're either going to want to go back to this person and what they did, or you're not. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like you do walk away from the situation completely, even though this person is like willing to give, right? And what does this person want long term when it comes to Leo? What does this person want long term when it comes to Leo romantically? Okay, the nine of swords. At this very moment, right? And energy is always changing. But at this very moment, I feel like your person doesn't know exactly what they want. I feel like they're in their head. I think that they're processing it. But the one thing I can tell you is like, they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to move forward without them. That would be a big ass L for them. So Leo, um, again, I just cut the deck, two of wands, nine of wands. I think that you're gonna be taking some time to figure out what works for you and what doesn't when it does come to this person. I also feel like there's somebody else that's waiting for you, possibly an Aries or a Sagittarius that's been watching you and waiting for you in the cuts. So um, in the extended, we go over all of this information. We clarify everything. We go above and beyond. Um, and there's also a couple of Oracle messages at the end. If this is where we end, I love you guys so much. Just remember, this is just for a period of time. It's not forever. And with that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time, my beautiful Leos, I will talk to you later. Peace out, Girl Scout.